Hey, whoa. Welcome back, Red Hot Media. What? Welcome back, Red Hot Media. Can't understand you. Welcome back to Red Hawk Media, everybody. I'm one of your hosts, Question Quinn, and I'm here with... Found and Bet It. Now, if you do notice something up on the screen today, Alex, what is that? That is our interpreter, Wyatt. Yep, Wyatt is here to tell us that, well, thing is possible. Anyway, let's get into our first thing, being thankful. It's one of our interviews, and so, Pettit, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for that this episode won't be as horrible as the last one. What are you thankful for? Well, I'm thankful for my mom, my dad, uh, my friends and family, uh, my dog, my... Okay, all right, that's enough. Anyways, let's get straight into the interview. Send it! Excuse me, sir. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey. Um, turkey. Turkey. My favorite Thanksgiving food is the variety of turkeys that we prepare. Smoked turkey, fried turkey, regular made turkey. You heard it here, folks. Turkey. 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 Excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Excuse me. Favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. With gravy. With gravy. And a, and a side of dabby. Yeah, I love potatoes. Potatoes? Another potatoes. Um, My mom always makes cheese potatoes. They're really good. This uh, stuffing. Stuffing. Mashed potatoes with green. It's a green bean. It's called Irish green beans. My family makes them. They have bacon in them. I love bacon. Too. Potatoes. Cheese. Cheese. Got interviews to do. Excuse me, excuse me. What are you most thankful for? Mm, my family. Um, my family. Potatoes. Potatoes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My friends, but that's like this. My friends? But yeah. Time with my family. Not eating turkey gizzards. They're right here. Um, family. Family. Uh, my dogs. Thankful for the people in my life. My family. For my family and my friends. I am actually thankful for everyone just being here at this point. It's a good answer. Wowza, it's really good to see that our school community is really forward about what they're thankful for. It sure is, Quinn. On another note, Red Hawk Media has been really cracking down on esports and in game trick shots. That's right, make sure to check out the next event next week to see our varsity team win yet again. Speaking of trick shots, did you know that some of the boys in our class made a trick shot video? They did. Yes they did. Send it. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pro Perfect. I'm here with the boys and today we're going to be doing some sport trick shots. I'm Zwick. 
And this is the triple split. Should be turning it up. CPT, LBC, yeah, we hooking back up. And when they bang us in the club, baby, you got to get up. Cause I'm doing this as a lady. Low line, yo, my boy, we living it up. Taking chances while we dancing in the party for show. Slip my girl a 44 when she crept in the back door. Chickens looking at me strange, but you know. I'm Jordan, this is the Rolling Foley. Just a swank in my head. Trick, quick, talk, and quick walk if you down with the set. Take a bullet with some grip and take the smoke on this jet. Out of town, put it down for the father of rap. And if you happen to get cracked, trick, shut your trap. Come back, get back. That's the part of success if you believe. It's that time of year again. Turkey hunt season. Boy, oh boy, those dudes can really make baskets. Yeah, and wait, did you say baskets? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of baskets, uh, basketball season is right around the corner, and we have people on the scene to check with the coaches and possibly some players. That's right. Don't forget to send it. Send it. This is uh, I'm Caleb. This is Coach Stacy Skemp, legend. Um, <laughs> so a couple questions here. Who's the goofiest person on the team? Oh, that's that's tricky too. Um, it depends on the day. Um, they all have their uh, quirks, and uh, sometimes some of them it takes a little bit longer to come out of them. But we usually we usually see quite a bit. Um, I would say probably Emma Martin gets. Uh, Gets a lot of uh, grief for um, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of things, um, but they like to joke around um, as a whole team and pick on each other That's and good. coaching staff too. Yeah, we have a good time. That's good. Okay, so what are your expectations? Well, what are your expectations for this season? For the season, yes, um, we are. Plan is to finish higher than we did in conference last year um, with uh, returning players that we have and other teams losing some key players. Um, we'd like to see ourselves back in the same game we were in last year, sectional finals. Um, probably same opponent, Monroe is mm -hmm. still stacked um, with a good team. So that's kind of our goal um, is to finish higher in conference and be back in that sectional final game again this year. That is a good goal. That is a good goal. <clears throat> Let's see here. I already asked you that one. We have a lot of repeating questions. <laughs> okay. Um, here on Red Hawk Media, we uh, we like to play a little game called uh, Name That President. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. I don't know. I can't find it. But um, Good. I know the answer. Um, but you know the question, too, right? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? I don't know. Ready or not, here we go. Name That President. Any president? No, There's no, a no, right no. answer. You just gotta make sure you that get the right president. one. That, that president. president. Oh, I don't know who that president is. You gotta be more specific. Just throw a guess out there. Obama. <laughs> no, darn. <laughs> that's what. That's what the other guy. Gets. That's what Coach Alex got. Great minds think alike. Yeah. What? What's the answer, man? William Henry Harrison. Yeah. He was the president for about a month. So. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know who that president was. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Good luck this How excited year. are you for the upcoming season? The, there's a lot of excitement because um, we've had, a, one, we've had a really good fall. So, with the guys that we've been working out with um, on a constant basis through our kettlebell workouts, our lifting workouts, our open gyms, our skill workouts, um, I've been doing a lot of new stuff that, frankly, maybe a lot of these kids aren't used to. So, as far as a work ethic, they've responded really well. As far as not only attending those events with good numbers, but also getting a lot of work done. Playoffs? The the, the goal that we've kind of set for this team and staff um, is Chase March. So um, if you are playing in March, that means you found a way to make sectional. I just ordered something for our locker room that's basically just a big picture of Janesville Craig because that's where our sectionals will be. So can you beat Mr. Kirst one on one? Yeah, absolutely. There's no <laughs> there's no question. Uh, Kirst has slow feet, um, we all know that. Um, and then if you wear and tear him through a lot of games, um, he'll break down. 
he, in all seriousness, Kirst is a very good basketball player. And there's a reason he's one of our coaches. He's good. And then uh, we like to play a little game at Red Hawk yes. Talk called Name That President. Oh, boy. So uh, let me just find the question. Oh, here it is. Name that president. Just name one? Name that president. There is a right answer, though. Name that president, no context at all? Nope. Barack Obama. Ah, uh, oh, no. no. I'm ah, sorry. That's wrong. The answer was William Henry Harrison. What did I miss? <laughs> yeah, thank you, coach. Good thank luck you this guys. season. Good luck. Appreciate it. I'm excited to hit the ground running very shortly here. Man, it's good to see that our team is prepared. But Quinn, do you know what else is right around the corner? And what's that? Girls swim! Oh, that's right, folks. Our girls swim team is so good, they actually made it to state. Let's head over to one of our swimmers, Carly, and some of her teammates. Send it. Okay. I'm Carly Boska, and I'm here with... Avery Shanahan. And Libby Diamond. And I'm going to be asking them a few questions about swim. So, conference was last week, and now sectionals is tomorrow. What are you excited, and what are you nervous about? I'm really excited to see everybody drop some time and get have a good time and then I'm a little nervous to see how our training is going to end up this season. Alright, so have, how has the sport changed you as a person in these past four years? Um, I've definitely had to get a lot more mental toughness. It's a long hard season and a lot of hard practices and you just got to be mentally tough. What are ways that you calm your nerves before you race? Um, I definitely think one of the biggest things I do is slap myself, like my arms, <laughs> like just kind of get the nervous energy out and just like mentally prepare, do some power poses, just try to get confidence before I swim. Nice. So, what does it mean to you to be a part of a team? I think the greatest thing about being a part of a team is to have like on this team we're like all close knit group of girls and like you always have someone behind your back to cheer you on and like. A family. A family. All right. Thank you, ladies, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I could go for a swim after watching that video. Mm, why? Because that was entertaining. If you say so. Anyway, for our final segment of the Red Hawk Talk, we got Dawson Twins and the five top bangers. Let's wrap this up. Yeah, send it. You may have heard a lot of bangers this year, but there are many that go unknown each year. We are going to give you a top five bangers list that you may not have had the pleasure of listening to. So the next time you get handed the aux cord, you can turn up to something new. Coming in at number five is Murals by Lupe Fiasco. This song just keeps going. Nine minutes of straight bars, double and triple entendres everywhere. Pure poetry all in one song. Next song on the list is Unity by Frank Ocean. This song is truly magic. One of the best songs off Frank Ocean's 2016 project, Endless. It is a nice change of pace from the usual slower songs he does to show that he can rap as well, while keeping the amazing vocals coming. Number three is This Life by Denzel Curry. This song is everything defining a hip hop banger. Catchy flows, hooks, and bars. This song could only be done by Denzel Curry. Number two on the list is Neon Guts by Lil Uzi Vert. While you probably heard EXO Tour Life, which was put on Lil Uzi Vert's newest project, Love Is Rage 2, you may not have heard the banger of the album, co-starring and produced by Pharrell. It is everything you want. This song just works. Coming in first is Star by Brockhampton. This song is off of their first album as a collective, truly showing the potential they all have. Working together, trading verses as if it was nothing. This song is truly fire! And I'm outie, bros! <laughs> Do it again. Dude, why would you ruin it? I'm pissed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. That was some bumping music and some popping beats. Alrighty then, guys. Anyways, that's the end of this Red Hawk Talk. Thanks for joining. Once again, I'm your host, Pound and Pettit. And I'm Question Quinn. And don't forget to send, send it. it.